okay guys this is your call so what do you guys <laughs> have questions on good things like what are you struggling with what are if you're doing something that's working share with us when is everybody's next advancement date goal i want to hear that um i have one if okay <laughs> our team's pushing for five star right now and valentine's day is our goal date so we had a rally call last night that i think was super beneficial i was really nervous about it and i posted in the thread with micah and was like I don't even freaking know what to say other than let's do this. You know, I was like, y'all help me out. And so we decided I would offer an incentive to those who helped us get there. And then I just got on there and talked about how pumped I am about it and how freaking close we actually are. And I took each hustler and went through the back office and said, this is where you are. This is where your next placement needs to go. Blah, blah, blah. Those little simple things. And it was super beneficial. Like, I was shocked that something that simple would mean that much to them. And like, I was getting messages after, will you stop? Mm -hmm. I was getting messages after like, I'm so pumped now. I'm so fired up. That was so awesome. And it was really not me being that incredible. So I was like, we need to do this again, but five star Valentine's day. That's the goal. And then I, per, I, I have further to go than anybody else does because I have my husband in my second CBC. <laughs> awesome. And Carrie says two star by February 20th because two star February 20th is the last day you can go into qualification for a first quarter bonus. Uh, Shireen two star by April, two star qual by April 1st. Shireen, is that pushing you? Cause what are you one star right now? I was so going to say that. I'm like, wait, that's like three months. That's, that's a no. I know. <laughs> I just kind of threw that out there. Yes. Um, no, it's probably not pushing me. So I'll adjust it. <laughs> Thanks for calling me out. <laughs> and Stacy hopped off. Did she? No, Stacy. You're good. Um, Diamond by one next week. Courtney, two star by February 20th. Shay, three star by February 20th. Courtney has a long way to go. Rebecca, two star February 20th. Candace, five by Valentine's. Awesome. Mine is, mine was to go into 10 star qual February 20th. So that's like a push goal. Um, for sure, 10 star by summit qualification, which is May, that first weekend in May. May Hmm, second. Where are you at, Cozy? I was curious, like with I'm right, five like, right now. I need to get I need to get my brother to diamond back to diamond and I would be six. But I honestly like I have people working that can totally pull it off. So we'll just see. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Shay, five star by summit. Yeah. So if you want to be recognized and whether that's walking across stage, whatever it is, recognition that you want to be recognized for summit, you have to go into qual for that May 2nd. You have to wake up May 2nd as that going into qual. So that should be another like main date for you. Jalen, February, uh, what? Pushing for 15 by February 20th. Dude, Alyssa, five star by February 20th. Shireen, good. Shireen upped her number. Two star by February 20th. Carrie, five star by May 2nd. Dude, that's awesome, you guys. Okay, now that you guys have all put this, do you know who and how this is happening? Not just like, bang, I'm gonna throw out a number and I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. Do you guys, like, you know the people, you know your plan of action. Do they know they're a part of this? <laughs> For yeah. Donna, what's yours? I didn't hear yours. Sorry. Um, I need to get my two star back by February 20th, but I'm hoping to be three star by then. And then five star for sure by summit. I want to walk five star at summit. You guys, how 
rad would that be to have like every single one of us walking across stage for five star, not just where you're waving a flag in the midst of a group, which is still awesome, but five star that they print, they call your name out. So it's kind of cool. That would be so awesome to have a massive amount of team inspiration, people doing that and to do it together. It's always fun when you're with people doing it. The scary part about five star is I don't know who, like I, they're, they're out there. Like there's, star or two that are somewhere in the world right now and they just don't know it yet but. that's where you plan to build a mom and a dad and a, you get an action plan in place and that that action and thinking is going to move you forward to find more builders and you'll find your people but if you're like they're somewhere they'll come to me no they won't like yeah. you've got to be like i'm doing this by myself then and i promise they will come which i think a lot of you already know i got two star was all me. So it was Lucas and my sister and I canceled my sister. So I have my second and Lucas, my sister is ready to re-sign up whenever I need her to and could technically, which I saw in the thread the other day that Candace was asking about, um, can a diamond. So like if my sister was a 2018 diamond, but she canceled, I think I got the answer. If they went diamond last year and then they go diamond again this year, even if they didn't hold it, they don't count. So but even for your they, sister, where your sister canceled, yeah. if she re-signed up, she would be a new coach. Okay. See, so, so it's like an aunt that I canceled that's like, honey, I'm here. But I I want this to happen organically. But yes, Jalen, the short answer is I'll do it myself, but I don't, I'm not doing it myself my team is going to bust it out this year. Like this is it. So Much Back better. <laughs> So you have an action plan and as you're moving toward that, like they will come. So it's okay. like, don't, don't stop yourself from starting to get there on your own because seriously, just being like, okay, I got to get enough people for five diamonds. You're going to find builders. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. having a mindset of that is going to help you get those builders. So you're not doing it by yourself. Yes, absolutely. But I have, I mean, thank the Lord, a supportive family who's like on board with whatever I ever need. But I'm like, I love you, but I don't want you. I want more than you. So we'll see. So um, I wanted to ask, like, is there, I understand that it's a lot of work, like to do it by yourself, but I mean, I'm not saying that I want to do it by myself, but I am saying that I know that I'll work. Um, so like, okay, I guess I'm just asking that. Is there something wrong with like building it yourself besides being like really stressed that you ha are kind of doing all the work? Because I have one working coach and then I have two coaches that say they're working, but they're, they don't hop on my team calls or do anything. And so I'm trying, I'm not, like one is my best friend and one is my brother, which my brother is just working on his journey. He's the sleeper. Um, do you remember that when he slept on the call? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but I feel like that has kind of kept me back. Like, I feel like well, I'm not doing it right. No, you, okay. That whole, I'm not a good leader crap. You got to get out of your head right now. Like we all, if you saw how many coaches sign up and do Jack, she, for all of us, you would get that out of your head right now. Like you just have to get in the mindset of I'm finding new builders, five to 10 new builders every single month. You're not relying on those three to get you to five star. You should have 10 new builders this month. Does that make sense? And then you doing it on your own, it's just going to be a skeleton, meaning you're not going to have a huge income from no builders. That's gotcha. just reality. Could it get you the rank and the bonus? Sure but you shouldn't have the mindset of you have one builder now, like you have 10 builders this month and you'll have one of those 10 that actually shows up and next month you'll get another one and the next month, another one. Like it should never be a, I only have this many, so I'm going to do it myself. It's I'm going to start moving the train forward right now myself, but I'm finding 10 new builders this month. And I, I mean, frankly, Minerva, I think cause we're both in the same boat together. The stress alone is enough for me to like seek and bust my A to make this happen because it is such a house of cards. 
Like it is such a house of cards when it's built on discounters. And I love my discounters because I would not be where I am without them, but it's, it's got to change. It has to shift because then it's just, it's all us. And then month by month, you are like scrambling just to keep all of it together. That's why I instantly canceled my sister because I was like, I can be two star, just me. And I'm good with that being my second and Lucas, but we are, we're better than that. And I think for so long, it was like, I even, I forget who I messaged this to yesterday. It was Jalen. It was Jalen. Um, I did not have my CEO hat on this entire time. I was like, I don't know what it was, but it's like, we've been acting like, hob- I don't know. I don't want to say hobby coaches because that's not true. But like, we are leaders. Even if you're the only runner on your team, you're a runner and you're mm-hmm. leading yourself and you know the action you need to take. So I think it's like, it's such a mindset F, like for real, but you've got to just shift that because you are the bomb. And you can well, go- I guess, I guess what I'm saying is like, is it seems like there's a stigma if you're just saying, okay, I have one person who's legit working and then I have two other people who are doing whatever they're doing, whatever they call working. I know you guys know it's not working if you're not doing it every day. So is it legit to just say, I'm going to run and I'm going to go for five star and I'm going to pick up some builders along the way, but it's not going to keep me from that. Because like, I look at like Rachel Baldwin and a lot of people who are in the network they really only have one, one or two diamonds. Like they're, they, all of them are like doing it themselves. And, you know, so like, I guess I just feel like rather than stop, I just rather just keep going and say, okay, I'm just going to get them along the way. Yeah. Yeah, The the train should never stop. The problem is, is you're waiting for these people who say they're doing stuff to do stuff. They won't like, Mm -hmm. if they want to do it, they'll get on the train. And I think you have to realize too, you want people who want to change their life. You want people who want to help others. You don't want the people who are up and down and up and down and in and out and up and down. Like that's exhausting. So they will join you or they will disappear. Like that sounds mean, but I'm not stopping my train because people can't get their crap together and figure out what they want in life. Like I want the people who want to change, who want to transform, who want to impact others, not Not that I won't support them, but I'm not stopping what I'm doing to try and make them like stable. That's not my job. And one more thing, because I know we all have like to close that part out. We're ballers. Like I almost didn't walk across the stage at summit because I knew that my one star was just me. Or when I got to two star, I was like, that's just me. That's lame. I'm not a leader. Like I'm not leading anyone. So I don't have the right to be like, I'm a two star diamond but we do. That's crap. Like, it doesn't matter how many elders you have or how many emeralds or how many whatever. We will get there. The momentum will catch up with us and it's going to just snowball into pure awesomeness. Like I'm convinced. So try to get that part out of your head too, because it's like, just because we don't have all these builders yet, they're coming and we got ourselves here and we'll get ourselves to five star. That's why like, I, I think it was Ashley that was like, forget it. If you're not with me, I'll build a million diamonds. Like I'll just find all these people and I'll do it all myself. My train is leaving the station. Get on it or don't. Like I, because it is exhausting. All right. I'm really muting. I love you all. Sorry. Hey, I just also wanted to share. I think I shared this last week on my call about how I was talking to someone in corporate and I was like, you know, I, I'm, I got myself to two star and she's like, awesome. Teach other people to do that. If you had three, four other people on your team that got to two star, you know how much growth you'd have? And she said something like, diamonds build your business, star diamonds build your income. I think that's what she said. It was Keyshawn. So basically just saying like, you know, because I felt like, well, I was the one that got me to two star. Great. That's awesome. Now help others do the same thing. Can you imagine if that one person on your team also got themselves to two star? So I don't think that that's a bad thing. And I think it teaches us how to build others. Sorry. I don't know if y'all can hear. Um, Anyway, so I just wanted to share that, you know, that there's no shame. And I mean, you do have to kind of do some defense work and that sort of thing, but then you can teach others to do that. And then you build other leaders and then they're coming, becoming diamond and two star, whatever, one star. And then you can stop, you know, doing that. But anyway, it just kind of made me feel better that like you find more people like you. Find more people that can get themselves to one and two star and go into them and then teach them how they can get their people that, you know, whatever. But I don't think, I think that most coaches build their business and hope 
that way. I was just um, going to say, I think everybody, honestly, their two, their first two star is probably, I would say 90% of the top coaches was built by themselves, their husband or their mom, or maybe their best friend. I don't think it's other people or builders on their team that are going diamond first. No, they're learning to be and make crap happen. And then they attract people that do want to do want to make it happen. So like people that think it's all you, we all have all these diamonds and all these business builders working. No, I think that it's just, I, I guarantee most people in this business got to two star mostly on their own, in my opinion. Well, and I think there's a big mindset too about, I had a mindset really similar to my nerve about, I have three coaches, they're going to go diamond. I have Jake I have my, and I'll get my second CBC. That's five star. And that I would like, feel like I was banging my head against a wall because they wouldn't hit success club and they wouldn't show up on deep calls and they won't post and they're not getting results and they don't interact in the challenge group. And I changed a couple things. Number one. And I started looking for everything they did do, not everything they weren't doing and like trying to be positive. Um, and I stopped pushing. You can't push a rope. And Kate Morgan always says you can carry one or you can sprint with a hundred and or a thousand or a million, but you can only carry one. And so I stopped trying to carry them. But more than anything, I made a Google Sheet. It's so dumb and it's so basic and I'm not good at Google Sheets. It's like the most boring thing ever, but it's called 100 Builders. And I told myself that if one in every 10 coaches actually says what they say they will, if I want to be a 10 star, then I need 100 Builders. And so I got to find 100 people and I numbered it one through 100 and I like made little tabs for like their name and the date they signed up so I could keep track of if I got the plus one or not for them signing their spouse within their first full month and if they were a success starter and what their current rank is and then there's a tab for their goals and every time I sign a new builder I go and I put where they're what leg they're on if they're like under me or Jake or my second or whatever and then every time I sign a new builder, I add their name. Every time a builder quits, I take them out. And I've never gone higher than 50, but I'm a hell of a lot higher than three when I started the form. And it's because my brain is not thinking. Jalen talked about this on the last call. My brain would do like, oh, I got a new builder this month. I'm good. I did it. I got a builder. Where, and it's the same thing we do with Success Club 10 that we're like, yeah, it's Success Club. I can take my foot off the gas. That now I'm like, no, I got to find more. I got to find more because my sheet's not full and I have a place to put them when I find them. So my brain isn't thinking, okay, good. You hit your goal. You found two builders this month. You can stop now. It, that my brain is how many can I find? And that like tweak that, yeah, that's how I started finding them because I was the person who had no builders. So it really is just looking for the people who want this. And if you think about it, you need 15 people who really get the vision of this business to be a 15 star. There's not that many people who come into this seeing the vision and the amazingness of this opportunity right out the gate. So you just keep finding more people. And I've noticed a lot of my people take a while to figure out success club. And at first I was discouraged, but then I'm like, do you know what? Lisa are figuring it out. It may take them a year, make to take them too. But that doesn't mean I stopped finding people. So the whole bad leader crap and the whole, like, um, I only have two people. Like you keep going, you just keep going and you don't stop. And something I mentioned on like the new coach call, and I think is applicable here. Cause I'm hearing a lot of this limiting belief of not being a good leader. If someone stood in front of you, and said all the crap you're saying to yourself, would you seriously sit and listen to them? Probably not. You'd be like, you're a douche, and I'm walking away from you right now. So you would leave the physical situation. But for some reason, when we say it to ourselves, we sit and we play it over and over and over again in our head when we would never subject ourselves to that in real life. So stop doing it. Like, walk away from that. So that's like the saying, you're literally standing in your own way. You really are when you're doing any negative self-talk. You are seriously, physically... Like picture physically standing in front of yourself saying these things, you wouldn't tolerate it. Walk around yourself and just do crap. Just find more people. That's all it takes. Just find more people. And eventually you'll find the ones who are like, I'm ready to change my life. Have y'all thought about doing anything like, um, I have like my one builder who's really going and working and she's already at success club six and she's like, this is her first month. And so I 
thought about like along with the success starter, since I'm already getting a hotel for summit, like saying, if you hit, like give her a goal, like if you hit success club for the next three months, or if you hit success club 10 for three consecutive months, then I'll pay for your hotel, which really it'll be my hotel that we're sharing. Do y'all think of doing incentives like that? Or do y'all think that's too soon to be doing incentives? What do y'all feel? Yeah, I think that's good. So if that's something that you think that I always do things for my team that I feel like I would be motivated to reach. Mm -hmm. So if that's something that you would push for, then offer that to your coaches because you kind of attract the same type of people that you are. Okay. So I would totally do that. And it's awesome. Okay. I have a question. I, um, so my goal is to get to elite this year. Um, I am two star right now. If I can build myself to four star because I have my second and then I have my dad who I haven't done anything with, but I don't have anyone else right now who wants to do anything. So when I was on the call with Sydney yesterday, she was saying, don't do anything in your second at this point in your business. Like you want to do everything in your first because this is the beginning of the year. You're trying to get to elite. So my question is, and I know it's different for everyone. Your based second on what counts for elite though. Your second, you get everything counts for elite. That's so what I said. And she was like, well, some things do. And I'm like, uh, as far as I'm reading, class club, everything still counts. Yeah. The only thing that doesn't is your own personal volume from your second, but you actually get that now. So I don't, yeah, I don't, that's not accurate. Okay. So building my second was like a no brainer. I'm going to build my second, but my dad's account, he doesn't co count for anything. So my question is after I build my second up, would it be smarter to just keep putting everything in my first and second and then wait until I actually have another builder who's going for it to do my dad so that I can do five rather than getting myself to four, not getting elite points and just kind of hanging out at four. Thank you. Yeah, I would do what Melissa and Cozy are saying. Like they always say the first quarter, don't build another account that doesn't count. So right now you have your second. So keep adding to that, at least for the first quarter. Um, hopefully along the way, you will find some builders anyway. So by the time you need to build your dad, you don't need to build him. The whole idea is what gets your brain to keep moving forward. So if that mm -hmm. means you build yourself, you do that. But if that means you don't have to have that mindset, you just need an action plan that makes you move that doesn't get you stuck with, well, I don't have any builders. I'm not going to do anything like then find builders. So if that means you put it on yourself to build yourself to five star, you do that and you'll find the builders along the way. If that means you can focus on your second and the account, the accounts that count for elite and you can find builders along the way, then you do that. But as far as elite goes, definitely keep your accounts the priority, especially for the first quarter. Um, and I kind of want to say something that, and I don't know if this is against the grain or not, but you have to think about what your ultimate goal is. Is your ultimate goal to be elite? Like, or is your ultimate goal to really create a sustainable business that is super strong in its foundation? I personally think a super strong foundation is much more important than building five accounts yourself or four accounts yourself and having one builder. In my mind, when you're being the example, when you're owning your team, when you're leading them, when you're doing all these things, you're going to build leaders naturally. You're going to hit elite naturally. Like I've never gone to my team and said, you guys, we're going for elite this year. Like we need to all focus on these things and I need to build this. Like when you're doing all these things, it will happen naturally because you're focused on the right things that are building for one, your income, like if you're an income driven coach, you're going to be an elite coach because you're going to build your weak leg volume and you're going to help your coaches do the same thing. And I just think we focus so much on the actual reward rather than focusing on what's most important. And that is duplicating what we're doing with our coaches, helping them see the purpose behind the business. I don't think any of us, maybe some, but I don't think any of us come into this business thinking, I really want to be five-star. Like I'm going to become a coach so I can say I'm five-star. Literally not. I don't think there's anyone. We come into this business thinking, I really want to change my life. I really want to impact my family. I really want to be able to put my little girl in gymnastics. I, you know, 
think about what is most important to you and build that. Like if it takes you an extra year to get to elite, I, I'm, I, I don't know if this is bad to say, but I just think you have to do what is best for you and for your family. Like it took me three years to figure that out, you know, but I never once built for rank. And I can say that like I've helped coaches in my downline quit their jobs. I've helped lots of women pay for family vacations. Like to me, you just have to think, why am I here and how am I going to get there? Like, why am I in this business? It's not to necessarily be a five-star elite coach that will come from the work you're doing with your team. It'll be a natural progression when you're doing the right things. I think we get so caught up in, I'm going to build my dad. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. When you guys focus on your team, stop focusing on yourself. Stop focusing on your goals and really help them hit theirs and your goals will happen naturally. Can I piggyback off that really quick? Cause you just sounded like Doug. So when I met with Doug, when we came to retreat last year, he looked at my downline and he was like, Shauna, like, I want you to get to two star, hold that two star because you need your second, which was the whole goal of building my sister to begin with. And then immediately I was like, you're out of here. Like, I'm tired of worrying about that. But that's exactly what he said, which is why I said the house of cards, because he's like, it's not a foundation. It's not a house of bricks. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. This is ridiculous because I was controlling every emerald, every, like everyone. And it's just like, I completely agree with you, Melissa. I think what I needed though, was the drive of, I will do this on my own. If you are not on board, I will make it happen because I know that I can, but just like Shay said, when I was at Cozy's a couple weekends ago, I was showering, which I was like, this is such a Micah moment because I'm in the shower and I'm thinking about this. But I can build a diamond. I know how to get to diamond. I can show someone how to get to diamond. And so it's just like, we have, we know what to do, but it's that drive of, if you're with me, awesome. And I'm so passionate and I want to build that foundation. But if you're not, my train is still moving. So, but I completely agree with you, Melissa, because that's exactly what he said. It scared me to let the chips fall. It freaked me out because I'm like, well, now I'm in and out and I'm in and out of rank and it makes me insane, but I'm a lot less stressed about it. So I completely, I understand exactly where you're coming from. I think it's just that drive of like, I will make it happen if I have to, and I have a roadmap to get there, but God willing, I don't need it. And I don't want you guys to take that the wrong way. I have built my business. I've built my second, I've built Jeff, I've built my dad. Like I have a lot of controlled accounts, but when I was a diamond coach, I built Jeff to one star and I helped one other coach get there. That's how I hit two. I opened my third hit diamond within a week. Okay. That's three star. If you're a two star diamond, you need to be a three star diamond, like no excuses. Okay. Well, and I think what the whole point is like, you guys, we cannot stop our business because of where you are right now. You don't stop and wait for the people you have to keep moving. I needed that five star bonus to survive. Okay. So I was like, I'm getting there on my own. You guys, I only have my husband's, my second CBC in my account. I don't have a parent's account. I don't have a sister's account. But when I signed up, I was like, I don't have any builders right now. So what's my game plan? My mom, my dad, my second, my husband and my sister. And by the time I got to two star, which was not with anybody else, it was, or not with myself. It was my husband and another girl. I was like, sweet. I already have builders. Now I can focus on my, my second. The whole point is you have a game plan. So you're not like, but I have no one. I can't go anywhere. Uh, you sure can just keep moving the train forward. So it totally depends on your situation, what drives you. But like Melissa saying, the whole thing is like, just keep moving. What are your goals? Teach your team. If you have one builder, teach that builder. If your train ends up having 10 builders at the end of the month, you teach those 10 builders. It's just not stopping and trying to push the people who aren't doing anything. Amen. <clears throat> I love that. And if one of the things, if you guys are saying to yourself, cause trust me, I know exactly what some of you are thinking. I'm like reading your faces right now. Well, I don't have any builders. Like, how do I get the, that was my impression right there. My impersonation. Um, you guys, I've said that too. Like, Oh, it's so much easier for them to recruit business builders because they are 
have a huge following. I said the same thing. I, I think I said that word for word to Michael, like, well, it's easy for you. She's like, no, actually I just do the work and I've been doing it for four years consistently. I'm like, Oh, all right, I'll shut up and just go back to work. And it's the same thing for you. I was talking to Meg um, Kozlowski the other day and she was saying, she's like, you know what? Like nobody on social media knows anything about rank. Literally they look at you and they're like, you're the same person as I think I heard Bonnie Engel once say, this girl denied me and said she was going to join her friend because they're both going to be emeralds together. And she's like, I was a superstar coach, but literally nobody knows or understands any of that. So you have to get over your own limiting beliefs that someone else is better than you or someone else is more deserving or someone else has a better following literally none of that means anything to the regular outside world it means nothing so go out there speak to the people you're looking for speak to those people and bring them into your fold and i promise you you can go anywhere anywhere you want to go you just have to believe it what else you guys is there anything That's um, a limiting belief, Jer. So you need to work on their belief in leading their team and just get them excited about it, you know? I don't know. Does anyone else have something better to say than that? Uh, I think there's a lot of people afraid of success. Yeah, I would dig in and find out why they do take a step back at that point instead of just pushing through it. Because me, I'm like, oh, I'm so close. I'm just going to go balls to the wall for this period of time and just make it happen versus I know some people do like take a step back and you just have to figure out and everyone's different and figure out why they're taking a step back. Cause there's a reason, you know, I've, I've had a lot of girls do that too. And I find out it's cause they have a fear of leading a team. It's, it's the same fears you all have right now. Well, and I had the same thing. I had the fear of, of it's Micah's call. She did a Josh's thing was like spot on about how I'm about bad mom if I get too successful and so every time I would get too close I would take my foot off the gas and it's not that Kaylin needed to tell me to like push through it and find some new strategy I needed to like embrace my freaking limiting belief and talk myself through it so yeah limiting beliefs I, I, oh sorry go ahead oh I was just gonna say that just kind of as a testimony I didn't share this at the retreat but um I actually like <laughs> I think it was, I don't know, maybe like six months in or eight months in, I actually like pursued another MLM at the same time because I was going to be like nutrition and do like a bunch of different things. And I, I'm like, I didn't even really understand, like, I didn't understand that really like the diamond and all that. I just got in because I wanted to help people and I knew Shakeology can help people and I knew Bod can help people, but I saw this other thing that could also help people, blah, blah, blah. But it was Patty who kept putting into me and she, I think, it, it helps me as a leader because Patty believed in me before I believed in myself. And I think sometimes that's really all leadership is, is just, just showing people like that you, you believe in them. And it's, there's something like magical when there's in my, I know how I like when somebody else is believing in me, I want to show up for them. I want to succeed for them before I can. Now I do it for myself. But in the beginning, I think a lot of it is just, I, you know, I didn't believe in myself as this business because I didn't really understand the potential of it. Even though I saw Micah, even though I saw these people, I was just like, okay, well, they obviously have something I don't have. And Patty's like, no, you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. And kept telling me, and telling me. Um, so I just think as, is taking that into perspective into mine is there's probably almost everybody on my team that is in that situation where they don't believe in themselves yet and it's me as a leader and up to us to just say like I believe in you you can do this um because it's not like I said it's not magic You're, we've said like it's it's simple stuff it's just doing the stuff like Shauna said we know what to do it's just doing it and so I think a lot of the times doing it is just that holds us back as belief belief in ourselves so that's kind of what I've taken and just my own experiences um you know, just instilling that belief into our team that, that each person can do it. There's nothing magical about being successful in this business. It's showing up, it's being consistent, it's doing your craft. 
Yes. Okay, guys, we've already gone over, but I'm sure we could keep on talking forever. We'll let everybody get on with their day. So next week, I don't, next week, no, no mentor calls next Thursday for the fifth Thursday. We're just going to do invite blitz. And I think it's at 9 a.m. So, but we'll let you know. So for obviously everybody, invite blitz. Okay, guys, thanks for hopping on. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Bye.